how to rebuild a droplet in DigitalOcean with a fresh OS image. The first thing you need to do is sign into your DigitalOcean account to be taken to your DigitalOcean dashboard. Once you've logged in, locate the droplet that you would like to rebuild. In my case, it's demo-server. Once you've located it, hover over its name and click on it. Here you'll be able to see further configuration settings for your droplet. On the left-hand side side menu, look for where it says destroy and click on it. In this setting, scroll down until you see where it says rebuild droplet. So what exactly happens when you rebuild rebuild your droplet. Rebuilding your droplet will rebuild it using the image specified and its original configuration parameters. The rebuild process will destroy all data currently on this droplet, so back up anything you want to keep. Rebuilds are limited to base images and snapshots in the same OS family as the droplet. So basically that means if you installed Ubuntu on your droplet, you'll only be able to rebuild your droplet with an Ubuntu operating system, whether that's an equal version of Ubuntu, a higher one, or an older one. Before you proceed with the rebuild, make sure you've backed up and saved everything that you want to keep on this droplet, as of course everything will be erased as you are starting fresh. So we'll need to select our droplet's image, so click on select an image. Once you've done that, you'll be greeted with the OS family base images, in my case it's Ubuntu. If you have any snapshots of your droplet, they'll also be listed here that you can select from. Now I don't have any snapshots for my droplet, so all you see is the base images of Ubuntu. Currently I have Ubuntu 22.04 LTS installed on my droplet. I can select 22.1, 18.04, 20.04 at the time of recording of this video. I'm going to be going with the same Ubuntu version that I have installed on this droplet, which is 22.04 LTS. All that's left to do now is to click on rebuild. You'll then be greeted with a small notification which says rebuild droplet. Are you sure you want to rebuild your droplet with the image Ubuntu 22.04 LTS x64? You have the option to cancel or to confirm. Of course, I'm going to click on confirm. Once you've done that, the rebuild process will commence and you can go back on your browser to see the progress bar. I'll be back with you guys once the droplet has been rebuilt. All right guys, I'm back. And as you can see, we've got the notification that our droplet has been rebuilt. We can now log into our droplet. Now what we'll need to do is get the new password that DigitalOcean has emailed to us from our inbox so we can log into our droplet. To do this, open up your email address inbox that you created a DigitalOcean account with and you should see it in your inbox an email with the title of your new droplet colon and then your droplet's name. In my case, it's demo-server. Here you'll be able to see the IP address of your server, the username, which is root, and the password. Once you've got your droplet's login details, you can minimize your browser here and then open up an SSH client to log in via the SSH protocol into your droplet. In my case, I'm going to be using Putty. If you don't have Putty, I'll put a link in the video description below and as a card to a video of mine that shows you step-by-step -step on how to install Putty. Once you've installed Putty, open it up by double clicking on it. Now you'll need to enter the IP address of your server. So I'm just going to open back up my browser here. I'm going to copy the IP address, I'm going to minimize my browser, and I'm going to paste in the IP address into the hostname section. Now I'm going to click on open. And as you can see, we are greeted with a putty security alert, which says warning potential security breach. The server's host key does not match the one that putty has cached in the registry. This is a normal security alert because we have rebuilt our droplet. So we don't have a security breach, but this is a good warning from putty in case of a potential security breach. You have the option to click on accept, connect once or cancel. I'm going to click on accept. We're going to be logging in as root. So enter root in here and then press enter. And for our password, it's our droplets password, which we're going to get from our email address here. I'm going to copy my password. And then I'm going to open up my putty terminal window. I'm going to right click in the putty terminal window to paste. And then I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard. Now what we'll need to do is change the password for our root user. This is a normal procedure whenever you rebuild your DigitalOcean droplet. So you need to first enter the current password, which is the one from our emails that we logged into our droplet using. So I'm just going to right click again to paste the same password and then hit enter on my keyboard. Now we'll need to choose a new password. So I'm just going to enter one in and then I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard and then I'm going to have to retype the new password. So I'm just going to do that now. And once you've done that, just hit enter on your keyboard. And now your droplet has the new password that you set up and is no longer using the password that DigitalOcean emailed to you. Great, so now we have successfully logged into our DigitalOcean droplet. And that pretty much concludes the video on how to rebuild a droplet in DigitalOcean with a fresh operating system image. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Is it so I to let you go?